Hello and welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 13th of June. This is for the Sun or the Ascendant. I'm going to give you the key features to look out for. Please stay with me. I will then dive deep to give you in forensic detail each of the 12 zodiac signs from Aries through to Pisces. Now this week begins with Mercury, the planet of talk and thought, returning to one of the two signs, signs that it influences of Gemini. Now if this rings a celestial bell, it's because this happened last on the 30th of April. But due to the retrograde, it reversed into the sign of Taurus on the 23rd of May. Now, of course, that retrograde ended on the 3rd of June. It came out of shadow on the 4th, but this could help us to gain a little bit more clarity around some plans which may have seemed to have been somewhat bogged down. But I still feel that clarity is going to be at somewhat of a premium this week. Now, there is, of course, the strawberry full moon on Tuesday in the sign of Sagittarius, which is, if you like, the higher knowledge. The sun is opposing the moon in Gemini, but actually forges a really constructive link with Saturn all through this week. So if we go through all the processes in a very thorough way, we can still inch forwards. It's just that Neptune, the planet of dreams, of spirituality, but which can be a swirling, misting influence, which can distort, well, that's in a T-square with the full moon on Tuesday. So over the next couple of weeks, fact can be stranger than fiction. So we need to use Saturn's sobriety, really, to check things out, and also Mercury's precision, and also make sure we're keeping the lines of communication open as clearly as we possibly can. Now, from Thursday through to Sunday, Venus in its home zone of Taurus is forging a quite beautiful sextile to Neptune. If you're lucky enough to be having a conversation where you can really feel that you're on the same wavelength as someone else, there could be some kind of spiritual connection or someone could be very generous. It could be through a gift or it may be a thoughtful note or text message which can really lift our spirits. But please stay with me for each of those 12 zodiac signs. But if you would like to ascend above this zodiac broadcast and understand how serious astrology can impact on your personal situation, if you give me three pieces of birth data of time, date and place of birth, I can give you a roadmap that can guide you for the rest of your life and also a 12 month forecast. If you get these two together with my special package, you can get 30% off. Please see the link beneath this video. And if you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be delighted if you did so now, please click or tap on the bell notification symbol. If you're someone who's already subscribed, thank you so much. So Virgo, your week commencing the 13th of June forecast sees your ruler return right to the highest point of visibility in your chart known as the 10th house. If there has been something you've been thinking about in terms of retraining, reskilling, uh, steering your career in some kind of slightly different direction, I think there's going to be a lot of conversation about that this week. How somebody else close to you feels about that may be a little bit uncertain. And the reason for that is that the full moon emphasizes the emotional part of your situation. So however much we do want to raise our profile, our visibility, be more ambitious or goal orientated, which is what the sun and Mercury are going to be helping you to do. And of course, with that cluster of energy in your ninth house, which has given you the zest to make changes, because Neptune, the planet of dreams, which can be quite a drifting, a dreamy influence, is actually T-squaring the full moon, it may be difficult to get the real clarity that is normally associated with your sign. Now, because Saturn, the planet of structure, is in your sixth house, 
very much in keeping with the energy of your sign. That's about self-discipline, attention to detail, taking small but important and thorough steps forwards. And that's forging a really solid link to the sun. If you are much more uh, on course with where you want to be, I don't think that these doubts will affect you so much. It's really when it may impact on others. So for example, if you wanted to change your job and your partner thought it was a bit risky, maybe there was a, a different kind of setup which didn't give you the certainty, that could be something that they may push back on. But if you're really clear about your direction of travel, then progress can definitely still be made. And with a glorious link between Venus in your sector of exploration, but also the truth of relationships, in a lovely sextile to Neptune, a conversation that you have could be a real meeting of minds this week. Maybe it's going to be a chat about a simple philosophy. Maybe you're going to be planning a trip away with a partner or a friend, but that can bring a little bit of magic to this week, as long as you can keep the clarity stuff working for you, which is so important for your zodiac sign. Mm -hmm.